chapter 3, verse 1. Eve, as we mentioned the other night, never saw God make anything. She had to trust her husband, and sometimes that's hard to do. For some women, that's impossible to do. They just can't trust. God said, Eve, it's not that he's smarter, it's not that he's better, it's not that he's more spiritual. It's that I want him to be in charge, period. Like in the military. Sometimes the private is smarter than the sergeant. I can hear the privates out there saying, what do you mean sometimes? All the time. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. But that doesn't matter. There's a chain of command that is set up by somebody higher than you. You just simply do it. You were in the military, weren't you? It does. If the guy's got more stripes than you do, you salute him. Say, yes, sir. Were you in the military, Sean? No. Vietnam was going hot and heavy, Thomas, when they were, uh, they were, I drew draft number 216. Praise God, they didn't call my number. Had they called it, I would have gone. I think the war was stupid. The cause behind it, they weren't there to fight communism. They were to protect the drug trade. That's another story. And you get a bunch of dumb politicians tying the hands of the soldiers saying, now go fight. The politicians lost that war. That's another story. But if in the military, there's a chain of command. This is the way it is. You, if in the Navy, if it moves, salute it. If it don't move, paint it. That's their rule. <laughs> Very you're in the Navy, right? Yeah, that's the rule. So there has to be a chain of command in the family after man sinned, which is here in chapter 3. Before that, Adam and Eve, husband and wife. But as soon as they sinned and disobeyed, God said, that's it, hold on, I'm setting up a chain of command here. Here's the authority structure. Now the serpent, verse 1, that'd be the, ser the snake today, was more subtle. By the way, did you see the big snake? that we killed, I ran over it. Four foot, six inch rattlesnake. This thing's just big around, isn't it? I had the van pulling the trailer, and when we hit it, it jerked the whole thing. I mean, we, I hit it on purpose. I saw it in the road, a big old rattlesnake. You got the head, right? Yeah, here. And the, the snake's still laying up there, right? Ants are gonna have a feast, aren't they? Four foot rattle moccasin, or whatever. Yeah, four and a half foot. Anyway, the serpent was more subtle. How'd they get off on that? Never mind, one of them rabbits that comes by. Oh. The serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made, and he said unto the woman, Ho, 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 why is he going to her? Why not Adam? I think he knew, I can't fool Adam, he saw God make stuff. Eve never saw a thing. She's got to learn to trust her husband. I don't, I don't think she quite trusts him. Maybe, maybe that's the weak spot I can get into this. And he's always probing around looking for the weak spot into your family, into your ministry, into your... Uh, a job, always probing, looking for the weak spot. And he'll, he'll keep poking around, find it. That's what bacteria do in your body. There's no possible way you can kill every bacteria in the world around you, so you build up your own immunity. You take lots of vitamins, minerals, exercise, you know, and you keep your body strong, and it'll fight off all that stuff. That's why the whole idea behind vaccinations is stupid. It's counterintuitive. That's not the way you do it. And see, uh, uh, Mary's website, ch childhoodshots.com, for more on that. Uh, excellent stuff. So, he said to the woman, he probed around, found the weak spot. Yea, hath God said. I find this interesting. The first sentence out of the devil's mouth that recorded for us, talking through the snake, we'll see later. The first sentence was a question to try to make her doubt what God said. He's always attacking the word. Yea, hath God said. That's what all these dumb new Bible versions are all about. Well, what's the Bible really mean? Well, let's look in this version and this version and this version. And you can look around till you find one that says what you want it to say. Well, it says in the original Hebrew or the Greek. Yeah, right. Let me see. When did you see that last? Like nobody's seen that for 2,000 years. Don't tell me you read it in the original. No, you did not. There's quite a controversy about that. Go to avpublications.com for more on that. So... He said to the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Sounds like just an innocent question. Boy, lawyers are great at that, aren't they? Asking questions just to try to draw you out and trap you and, and, and execute you or whatever they're going to do. And the woman said to the serpent. Now, maybe she shouldn't even have talked to the thing. It doesn't appear that she was surprised he could talk. I mean, the whole world's kind of brand new to all of them. And then, oh, this thing can talk. Well, interesting. Okay. Probably didn't think. Now, today, if a serpent starts talking, you probably ought to run, right? But because we know they don't, they don't talk. But the, the woman said, "We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, 
Remember, we go from hath God said to God has said. God said this, and the serpent said, hath God said. Just change the order of three words and turned it into a question. Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now, there are some who say, oh, she added to the word of God right here. Because in chapter 2, he didn't say, don't touch it. I don't think she added to the word of God. I think God did say that. Or maybe her husband told her that. Honey, don't eat off that tree. And matter of fact, don't touch it. Matter of fact, don't even get near it. You want to really be safe and secure on your dating life? Double or triple date or group date. Don't get alone. Just don't get alone with them. Now, the Bible says it's good for a man not to touch a woman. I say, if you don't want to touch them, stay away from me, please, okay? But no, it's good just not to touch them. And then he said, get your own wife. So, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now, it is true, God said, don't eat off that tree or you'll die. I don't think she added to the word of God. God might have actually said that, and it just simply wasn't recorded. And the serpent said to the woman, ye shall not surely die. Now, here we are, phase two. First, he got her doubting. What did God really say? Are you sure God said that? What's it say in the original, Eve? I mean, did you look in the original Hebrew? What did he really say? Make her doubt. And now he's outright denying God's word. He's just calling God a liar, which he does to this very day. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. And right there is where the whole idea of evolution got started. You get to be God. 